Y'all, I'm at Kroger about to buy a few things and my budget is $25. I don't think I'm gonna go past that because the most expensive thing on my list is chicken. And I have not been able to find chicken anywhere and I know they're not gonna have any in stock. So in my mind, I'm already saying that they're not gonna have this chicken. So, but anyway, my budget is $25. This is my list. And I'm about to go in here and see what all they have. Let me make sure I have all my coupons downloaded before I go up in here. Cause the worst thing you can do is go in here and buy all of this stuff and not have all your coupons downloaded yeah so i have all my coupons and i'm about to go inside and see what i can find hopefully they have everything on my grocery list if nothing else the grapes is worth it because 77 cent a pound for grapes that's worth it i eat grapes all day every day so Y'all, I'm out of Kroger, and as I figured, they did not have the chicken that I wanted. They had the whole chickens fully cooked, two for $10, so they didn't have not one chicken. So, ended up not getting that, but I did get cereal. I was supposed to get two boxes of General Mills cereal, but I didn't see anything saying that it was on sale, so I tend to keep it moving when it's like that. I did see that they had Kellogg's and Fruity Pebbles on sale, so I ended up getting a box of Kellogg's um, Fruit Loops and I got a box of Fruity Pebbles for the kids. I was talking to the cashier, I was like, oh, why are these grapes ringing up $6.05? And they, they're 77 cents a pound. She said, oh, um, once you hit total, then it'll take all the coupons and everything off. So I was like, oh, yeah, once I hit total, it, it took everything off. So I'm happy about that. I would have put everything back, especially those grapes, you know, had it been $6 for that little small bunch of grapes that I got. So now I'm fixing to head over to Walmart and complete my grocery shopping. Okay, y'all, so I'm at Walmart. My budget for Walmart is $60. This is my grocery list. This is everything I need to get from Walmart. I usually shop at the neighborhood Walmart, but today I'm at the Super Walmart that has everything. And the reason why I'm at this Walmart is because they sell these taco bowls that the neighborhood Walmart doesn't carry. So I'm over here, and hopefully they have some in stock. That's my main reason for coming over here. So I'm going to go inside, try to stay under budget, and let's see how well I do. Just got a Walmart, and we are not going to talk about this Walmart shopping trip. Yeah, the budget was $60. I went $8 over budget. And this is how much I spent. I don't know. I actually started picking up items that were not on the list. I picked up multiple items that were on the list because in my head I'm thinking like if I can stock up on these items now, then I don't have to worry about trying to buy them again in a week or so. So I bought two half and halves. They used to be $2.98. They have went up to $3.44. So, y'all, this inflation is real. Everything is going up. So, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to think about my life choices because of how because of how high everything is getting. The kids love to drink half and half in their coffee, so we're going to have to find a backup plan for this coffee situation. They're going to have to start drinking the creamer cuz I know creamer, I, well, I don't know because I hadn't bought it in a long time, but I would think that it would be cheaper and last longer than half and half and so we're gonna have to find some type of alternative for this coffee or i'm gonna have to wean them off of coffee because they are <laughs> they are addicted to it they have to drink it every morning before they go to school so we're gonna have to figure this thing out so now that i went eight dollars over budget at walmart i might have to shave some things off at aldi but I didn't really plan on shaving things off at Aldi because they hadn't had chicken in about a month or so. I've, I've been going to Aldi. Yeah, I have yet to find chicken at Aldi. So if they have chicken today, I'm going to bust this budget and get as much as I can while they have it. Now, Walmart is fully stocked on chicken, but I'm not too crazy about their chicken. It's like it has an aftertaste when you cook it. It's like you can taste the steroids or hormones or whatever it is they put in this chicken. I don't like that. All this chicken, you don't taste any of that. It's just plain, regular chicken. So, if they have chicken today, I'm going to rack up and go over budget. But for right now, my budget for Aldi is $80, and I'm going to try to stick to that budget.
and the reason why it's so high is because I'm buying meat this week and meat is usually expensive eggs are expensive too so I don't know what we're gonna do about this egg situation I know a dozen of eggs at all it was like two dollars and something the other day when I went so hopefully it went down probably night I'm more than likely it went up so let me head over to Aldi and see what I can get and see if I can stay within budget yeah before I head over to Aldi I'm gonna make a quick stop here at Albertson's I know hubby said he wanted some coke and they have their two liters for 77 cents so I'm fixing to run here and grab him some soda and I think they have a few other things for like 87 cents I don't know they celebrating some 87 cent sale so uh, I had a whole Albertsons list I have no idea what I did with it so I'm just fixing to wing it my budget is to stay under $20 because I don't have I hadn't planned on buying $20 worth of things here because the so like I said the sold is 77 cents and there's a limit to how many you can get and I think the water is $1.87 I'm gonna get some water and the cereal is $1.87 I might grab some more cereal because I do have a coupon so let me head in here and grab these few items and I'll be right back. Yeah, I finally made it to Aldi. I went 73 cents over budget, so I spent $20.73 in Albertsons. Now I'm at Aldi and y'all, I am at my shopping capacity. I am worn out and tired. So I'm gonna try to, <laughs> try to, I'm not, I'm probably won't get everything on my list today, just enough to um, cook dinner today. And I probably have to come back tomorrow and finish shopping at Aldi because I'm, I'm worn out. I'm tired. But a another part of me wants to just get everything so I don't have to come back out tomorrow. So, I we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. And this budget, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to stay within this budget, so. Bro, you for real bought me all my favorite cereals? We got the fruit, the fruity pebbles, fruit loops, cinnamon toast crunch, cocoa puffs. Cheerios, literally the main reason I like Cheerios is literally because that's literally what I ate for breakfast at my, at, like, at my grandma's house. That's literally, that's literally what I ate. I ate Cheerios. You sometimes give me Cheerios. That was like the best cereal that I ever had. And then the Cocoa Puffs, haven't had those in like years. Haven't had those in literal <laughs> years. Look, and look at Has it been years, Gabby? It's been years. <laughs> All right, so this is my Albertsons haul and y'all I have no idea where I put any of my receipts not one of them so if I remember the price of an item I'll let you know I ended up getting two loaves of bread because we were fresh out and I think it was on sale for a dollar and 87 cents I also ended up getting bacon y'all know bacon is expensive it was on sale for 387 so when I see it on sale I try to grab it the cokes were either 77 cents or 87 cents I think it was 87 cents each so I grabbed four I think the limit was five this case of water was $1.87. I definitely should have stocked up on this because that is pretty cheap for a case of water. So, but I decided against it since I was trying to stay within my $20 budget. I ended up just get, getting the one case. And here's all of the cereal that my daughter was so excited about a few minutes ago. It was on sale for $1.87 and I ended up using my dollar off when you buy two coupon. Okay, so here's my Kroger haul. I had a dollar coupon for the cereal, so I grabbed some Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops. I also grabbed two things of apple juice because this goes great with our breakfast and smoothies. I also grabbed some blueberries because we eat these in our oatmeal and we also eat these in our smoothies. Y'all, I can eat grapes all day, every day, so I grabbed three bunches. Moving down to my Walmart haul, I bought this expensive as all get out half and half so the kids can drink their coffee in the morning before going to school. And this is the only brand of fries that we eat, so I grabbed one bag to go with our homemade burgers. And my skinless smoked sausages for my red beans and rice meal that I plan on cooking this week. I also got some Mexican rice for Taco Tuesday. We eat this in our taco bowls, burritos, or quesadillas. I also grabbed some cheddar and broccoli rice, so this will be a side item for one of the meals I cooked this week. I also grabbed some taco bowls for Taco Tuesday. Y'all, these things are expensive, but we just had to have them this week. I also grabbed a couple of grill mates, mesquite grill marinade to use if Aldi ever gets stocked up on some chicken. And I usually make my own taco seasonings, but today I'm trading money for my time, so I ended up getting two packs of taco seasonings. I grabbed some lemons for my homemade tea because we blow through these things so fast. I got some bananas because everyone here eats bananas like they're going 
going out of style, so I, I stocked up on some bananas. I got some shredded lettuce for Taco Tuesday, cilantro for Taco Tuesday, and some collard greens for our Sunday meal. Now I grabbed a box of salt because my son's podiatrist recommended that we use this salt versus Epsom salt for his injured toe. So I got a box of that. I got some mango peach applesauce for Gabby's lunch. I grabbed two bags of sugar and some Cheeto puffs for Gabby's lunch. Last but not least is my Aldi haul. I got six bell peppers for my stuffed bell pepper recipe. Everyone except me loves these Danish pastries, so I bought one box. I grabbed three dozen of eggs, which is down from my normal five to six because these things are so expensive. I picked up butter since we were running low and some provolone cheese for the grilled cheese sandwiches for the boys. I got some mushrooms for when I cook Salisbury steak. I bought two cans of chili for chili dogs this week. I got some sour cream for Taco Tuesday. I also got some tomatoes for Taco Tuesday and Hamburger Wednesday. Four cans of corn as a side item or Taco Tuesday. Spaghetti sauce for my stuffed bell peppers. I ended up getting some mayo because we were running low on mayo. So I'm trying to replenish it before we completely run out. And same thing with this mustard. I had to grab some mustard because we were low on that as well. I got some block cheese for my grapes. And I cut these up and create snack packs with grapes because y'all, I'm telling y'all, I can eat grapes all day, every day. I bought two packs of beef franks because these are the only type of weenies that we will eat. I got some ground turkey for the stuffed bell peppers. And this is Aldi's version of Little Bites. These are for Gabby and Jordan because Jordan doesn't eat breakfast. He just grab a Little Bite. Gabby puts the Little Bites in her lunchbox. I got some mac and cheese for a side dish. I got some cake mixes for dessert. They ended up having chicken thighs. I always liked their chicken legs, but they didn't have any legs at all. So I ended up getting the thighs for Sunday dinner. I got some beef for Taco Tuesday and Hamburger Wednesday. I got some brioche buns for Hamburger Wednesday and hot dog buns for the chili dogs. And I also got some tortillas for Taco Tuesday. Have this feeling. Haven't felt for so long 